The insanity or mental illness or lunacy defense, also known in the criminal trial jurisprudence as the mental disorder defense, is an affirmative defense by excuse in a criminal case, arguing that the defendant uh, or the accused is not responsible for his her, her, or her actions due to a uh, sporadic or intermittent or you know persistent psychiatric disease at the time of the criminal act at the time of the commission of the criminal act this is different from an excuse of provocation in which the defendant is responsible but the responsibility is lessened due to a temporary mental state the oldest reference to the immunity from extensive criminal sentencing uh, or punishment on the ground of mental illness is found in the code of Hammurabi, a well-preserved uh, Babylonian code of law, law of ancient uh, uh, Mesopotamia dated to about uh, you know 1754 uh, BC. Uh, legal definitions of insanity or mental diso disorder are varied and include the uh, Manhattan rule the Durham rule, the 1953 British Royal Commission on Capital Punishment Report, the Alley rule, which is an abbreviation uh, for the American Legal Institute Model Penal Code rule, and other provisions, often relating to uh, a lack of mens rea, that is, guilty mind. In the criminal laws of Australia and Canada, statutory legislation enshrine the uh, Manhattan rule with uh, the term defense of mental disorder, defense of uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, mental illness or, or, or not uh, you know, criminally responsible by reason of uh, uh, mental disorder employed. Being incapable of distinguishing right from wrong is one basis for being found to be uh, legally insane as a criminal defense. It originated in the uh, Manhattan rule and has been, you know, reinterpreted and uh, uh, modernized through more recent cases such as uh, People versus Saravo, which, uh, you know, I would request all the viewers to, to go through on the internet. People versus uh, Saravo. In the United Kingdom, Ireland and the United States, use of the defense is rare. However, since the criminal procedure, you know, insanity and unfitness to plead act 1991, insanity pleas have steadily increased in the UK. Mitigating uh, factors include, uh, including things, uh, beg your pardon, not eligible for for the insanity defense such as intoxication or you know more frequently you know diminished capacity may lead to reduced charges or reduced sentences the defense is based on evaluations by forensic mental health professionals with the appropriate test according to the jurisdiction concerned their testimony guides the jury or the judges as the case may be but they're not allowed to testify to the accused's criminal responsibility as this is a matter of for the jury to decide similarly mental health uh, practitioners are restrained from making a judgment on the issue of whether the uh, defendant or accused is or is not insane or what is known as the uh, you know, ultimate issue. Some jurisdictions require the evaluations uh, to, to address the accused's or defendant's ability to control their behavior at the time of the commission of the offense. That's important. The, uh, uh, you know, the volitional limb, as it is called. A defendant claiming the defense is pleading not guilty by reason of insanity or guilty but insane or mentally ill in some jurisdictions which if successful may result in the defendant being committed to a psychiatric facility for an indeterminate period 
Now coming to the Indian uh, set of laws dealing with the uh, insanity or lunacy or mental disorder. Section 84 of the Indian Penal Code deals with the criminal act by an unsound person. The said Indian law says that nothing is an offense which is done by a person who at the time of doing it by reason of unsoundness of mind is incapable of knowing the nature of the act or that he is doing what is either wrong or contrary to law. However, interestingly, you know, the, the, the data, you know, I have extracted from one of the research papers of an expert depicts a very, you know, different and unique sort of a story. Uh, that is that the, the, the majority of cases where the insanity defense was taken by the accused under section 84 got to be rejected by several high courts in India. The high courts acquitted the accused under section 84 IPC in less than 20% cases, thereby accepting the insanity pleas, uh, uh, you know, raised by the accused. Very small percentage. The verdicts of the trial courts rested on the documentary evidence of mental illness prior to the crime. That's, that's very relevant in the Indian context. The documentary evidence of mental illness prior to the crime and the psychiatrist's opinion as well is, is, is highly relevant. It is critical to, to read the associated case laws to ascertain the elements, you know, linked with the success or decline of insanity, please.